Okay friends, today we're going to be drawing some cool cats on our same paper as our hot dog. I'm going to start in the middle of my paper again, and I'm going to make my cat's eyes. I'm going to draw two dots. Once I've got those dots, I'm going to put two circles around them. So now my cat has two eyes. Next I'm going to give my cat a nose right here. And I'm just going to draw a little upside down triangle. And then I can go ahead and color it in. And then I'm going to give my cat a little mouth. I'm going to draw a little J shape underneath. Then another J shape. Oh, and this is a cat, so my cat needs some whiskers. I'll just draw a couple lines from the nose. Now I need to make my cat's face, so I'm just going to draw a line all the way around. And I'm going right through my whiskers. And look, I'm making a circle. So we can just draw a circle to make the cat's head. Hmm, my cat's missing something up here. That's right, my cat needs some ears. So to make the ears, I'm just gonna draw some triangles. If you wanna be really fancy, you can even draw another triangle inside. If you wanna be super, super fancy, you can even draw a little bow on top of your cat. Or maybe you have a cat in a hat. And that is up to you. Next, I'm going to draw my cat's body. So I'm going to draw a straight line down. Then I'm going to come over here and draw a curved line around. Then I'm going to connect these two lines. Then my cat needs some little feet. And if you want to draw some claws on your cat, you can. And my feet are just two little half circles, or upside down U's. And then finally, my cat needs a tail. If we look at our dog's tail, the dog's tail is kind of pointy. The cat's tail is going to be more round. And it's just going to go up and around and come back down. And there is my now I have to turn it into a cool cat using cool colors. So I'm going to use purples, blues, and greens, which are all cool colors. I'm going to do the same thing I did with my hot dog, and I'm just going to draw some lines. I'm going to press down hard with my marker so I have nice thick lines. You want to add some spots, you can add some spots like this. But make sure you're mostly just doing lines so it looks like your cat's got real fur. After your cat is all colored in with lots of cool colors, you're going to take your paintbrush, put it in your water, and brush over your marker lines to make some paint. And you're just going to fill your whole cat with cool colors. Voila, there's my hot dog and cool cat with warm and cool colors. Great job, amazing artists.